Hello everybody, Kevin Sabatella here with One Team Realty. I'm out here in Kissimmee, Florida, checking out the community called Cypress Hammock. And today we're with Pulte Homes. Now we're gonna check out the Tybee model. It's a nice two-story floor plan that starts right at 430. But Pulte has some houses that starts as low as the 360s here. Now I want you to stay around towards the end of the video because I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the area and what's coming here. And take a look at this nice community pool that they have here and, and playground. Would well, you want a community like this? I know you do. <laughs> so come take a look and enjoy this tour. Okay, so let's check out the Tybee floor plan. Now it does have a good amount of square footage. It's a beautiful house, so stay tuned. So right away, you are welcome with this foyer. You do have the staircase right off to the left. And you do have a little hallway over here. So right here, you do have some nice storage space under the staircase. As you can see, it is pretty well utilized here. Now for you guys, I normally walk in and see how far deep and if it goes more underneath, but I do not want to hurt myself. So Forgive me, please. Forgive me. And then off to the left of it, you do have your door for the garage. And then they have this space, which is called the drop zone. So it's like a good spot if you want to drop off some shoes. You can put a shoe rack since it's right off the garage. Hang the book bags, as you can see there. What I do like is that coming in here, you do have a window right away. So that does let in some natural light. All right, sorry for the quick pause and restart. I just had to clean my camera lens. Now it looks a lot better. Now take a look at this living room. Definitely a nice size, nice and open layout in here. So we'll continue right over to the kitchen space that we have over there and see what they got cooking over there. Well, they got nothing cooking, unfortunately, but you know what I mean. There was a lot of pun intended. So you can see here that they do have three bar stools here and you can maybe fit a fourth one depending on how tight you want it to be. And let's see right over here, I believe we got a pantry. Yeah, so just your normal pantry is not too big, but hey, at least you got a pantry. I remember back in the day, some of the houses won't even have a pantry, so good to have. Right there, you do have a good space for a dining table with a nice window right there to let in some natural light. Now we'll take a peek right over here and see the cover lanai that we got included in this home. So the couple of nights is not like too deep, but it is a decent width. So you could put like a nice wide table. Or hey, if you just want to come out here, have a seat, enjoy your morning coffee while you look out at the nice conservation area, that's something you could definitely do. They do have a lot of conservation or waterfront lots, so Definitely, if you want something like that, just talk to me and then we could find something for you guys. And then we're gonna go that way once I close these sliding doors. So right there is just a normal bedroom, but they have it set up because this home or this series of homes, they do it by packages. So I'll explain a little bit there. So right there is your full bathroom and then you got me. You get the toilet and the shower. It's 
So I could attest to this because I did buy a Pulte home as an investment property. And then I was able to pick up my package and make sure I was happy. So I believe right over here, this is the styles that come included. So right there, that'll be the carpet, the cabinet, countertops, and the tiles. And I did upgrade to the preferred package, which gives you some nicer cabinets, um, a backsplash as well, and then slightly better color tiles. But if you want to keep going better, and right over here, you can see you can get the vinyl flooring and have that wood look going throughout the house. So definitely, if you do get more questions on that, feel free to reach out to me and we can both get a perfect understanding and talk to one of the sales counselors. And then now we're gonna head upstairs to see how it looks up there. I remember when I was selling new homes, a lot of people did like when you go up the stairs right here, and then there's this like landing pad. And then you gotta turn around and then go up some more. The reason why I got a few different responses, people like that is that like that, if somebody trips and falls, they only fall halfway and not all the way down, not all the way down there. That and people right here to catch their breath and take a little break going up the stairs. I've heard all different types of things, so <laughs> little fun fact there. So this home does have a few different spaces. So they, they put like a little, I don't know if like a study space or a game table there. So something pretty nice to have. Right over here, they have like a little shelf, which I've seen that could be used in many different ways, that little corner. Here you do get a full bathroom. And then right over there, you do got a good sized loft as well. So you got the loft, and then you got this space as well. Pretty handy to have, especially when you got kids it keeps them busy up here like that. They could leave you alone downstairs. And now this room, I'm, I'm a Star Wars nerd myself. So I'm sorry if I geek out here on you guys. So check this out. I see a lot of baby Yoda stuff and I know the Mandalorian season three just started again. So if you're not a Star Wars fan, you got to get onto The Mandalorian. It's definitely a good show. I wish they just put more different variants of lightsabers. They looks like, I believe that's Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber and Anakin's. Put some other stuff, not just three greens and then one blue. Put a red one as well. Put mixed windows as purple. And look, right over here, we got Yoda in a Lego form. Would they get upset if I just snatch this? I, I would love this. Nobody saw me stealing it, right? <laughs> Looks like that little thing fell down. And right over here, you do have another regular bedroom. Not as cool as the Star Wars room for me, but hey, if you like giraffes and animals, you got, I guess it's like an African theme or Africa theme, whatever. All right, so we'll continue this way to see the last bedroom upstairs and see what else they have over here. Oh, I'm sorry, there's two more bedrooms. And then right here, you do have the AC closet. There you do have another bedroom or the master. And then there's another regular bedroom. So we're gonna take a look at that regular bedroom first. Now I want some ice cream. <laughs> I 
This is the ice cream room, I mean, look. Now I gotta go to a Dairy Queen, see if they have some good ice cream there. And then right here, let me turn on the light for you guys. It's the laundry room. Definitely a good size, so if you wanted to put like a little table there to fold some clothes, something you could do like that. And right over here, you do have a full linen closet. Always good to have extra storage space. And then right over here is the master bedroom. So this home is a five bedroom, three bath. But this is definitely a good size master bedroom. You can see that they put the king size bed with two nice stands. So even though they're very small, but you can see they have plenty of space on each side. With the windows facing out the back of the house. And then we'll go over to the master bathroom and also check out the closet over here. So right there you can see, you got your double sinks. You got me poking around, around the corner. You got some good storage space. So you can see all those cabinets right there, cabinet right there. That one's a fake cabinet, but more cabinets there. I believe this is a real cabinet, yep. Always good to have more cabinets. Right there's your closet. We'll go back there in just a second. Here you got your walk-in shower. Pretty good size. You do have a nice little window to let in some good natural light. Let's see what's here. You got a linen closet. Always good because like that you can put your towels, some toiletries, toilet paper in there. And then right over here, we do have the toilet space and then the master closet. The closet is definitely a decent sized space. As you can see, it continues right over here. And then it goes all the way around up to there. I would even personally put another shelf right there but it's your home. So thank you for watching today's video with me today as I head downstairs. Like I said, this is a beautiful community and a good location. And a little bit more about this area is that you are close to the Sunrail station. So that's a train that will help take you to downtown Orlando very quickly. So the, the station is like no more than five minutes away. So you could drive there, be there in five minutes, and then hop on the train and be on your laptop, be on your phone, play games, whatever you want. And then just get to downtown Orlando without the stress of all the traffic of downtown. So that is one big thing about here. And my, I actually used to live here when I was a bit younger. And my mom used to take it when she worked downtown and it, she loved it when they opened it up. And then you're also close to 192, which will help take you to Disney. There's a lot of shopping there, uh, restaurants. So you got everything pretty close by. So if you think this community works well for you, give me a call. I'll be happy to be your realtor of choice or any of your friends or family that wants to move to the Central Florida area. But if anything, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. See you guys later. Bye-bye.